Hi everyone! To all out there who loves crochet top, today this is it. I am going to share to you how I come up with this valley knit crop top with a lace on the back. As you can see, this is very, uh, very beautiful top for you for the summer for you to wear. And as you can see here, I will explain uh, all the you know all the states that you're going to use with this top and this is this is the front and this is the back it's just a very simple steps if you know the basic um, rolls of crochet so I'm sure you can understand it very well and let's get started for this project, I want to, I'll just put this away, for this project, I'll, I am using this yarn, it's a Flinders, cotton it fly, 100% cotton, and, so, and the tools that you needed is 3.5, 3.5, and scissor of course and um, needle for you to whip the ends once we finish making our as you can see I'm using this yarn the Flinders cotton and it's this kind of blue it's like a baby blue or something and I've already made the other piece so and this is how it start but because as you can see on the on the first um, project I did is there are heaps of gap and now I reach in reach the pattern for this uh, half double crochet so on this video I'm going to teach you how to make it so this one uh, this this project I made for small size to medium hi everyone I am back now let's to start is we need to do slip knot chain 24 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 and in this 24 we add another chain one and then double crochet in the first uh, in the second here double crochet in the second stitch from the hook one two three four Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So twenty-four half double crochet, but in the second row, guys, I want you to add another half double crochet when we get here. So I will get you through how you do it how you're going to do it now in the second row make sure to have chain one and then half double crochet in the same space and i will come back once i'm in the very last stitch 
So I'm here in the very last stitch and I did my half double crochet all the way in the row number two. Now, because we don't want that uneven or an angle, so on this project, I'm going to add another half double crochet here in the very last stitch. Put there and voila. So all in all, the total now is 25 half double crochet. Now in the row 3, do the same thing. Half double crochet in the same space. And all the way across until you reach in the other side of our project. And it should be 25 in total of half the work crochet. And also, I just want to add, guys, depend on how, what size you're going to make. I suggest that you add another row depending how big or small you want it to be it's up to your size but this uh, project I make is small to medium so I'm gonna count it for you guys 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 24 22 24 and Make another one here. The first one, 25. See that one? 2, 4, 6, 18, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 25. So, make another more row. Mine, in this project, mine is, I'll show you, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 12 row of half double crochet and after that i will come back and then we'll do this neat neat uh stitch all right and i'll come hi everyone i am back and i've done with my 12 rows of half double crochet as you can see it's very precise and you know straight and very detailed now let's start with this neat this way here and I will teach you how I made it okay I just put that there and just to begin is you need to chain five one two three four five and turn over and skip two stitch so one two and single crochet in the third in the next stitch so Make sure to skip two stitch and single in the next end. Five chain one, two, three, four, five, and skip another two chain five and skip another two stitch chain five again. And this pattern is you going to do until you have reached here. So I will get you through there. Two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. And one, two, three, four, five. And last stitch, single crochet. And then turn your work and then slip stitch in the five chain this is where we start decreasing our project and a slip stitch and then sing uh chain five one two three four five and single in the next five chain one two three four five do the same thing all over one two three four five Two, three, four, five. 
single in the very last five chain and then turn your work again and slip stitch chain five so that's how it's building up like that as you can see here and then guys i will uh, do that off the camera and do it yourself as well and then make sure come back once you have the last part just one five chain in the last part here and i will come back once i've done so that. i am back and i'm here in the very last stitch of our knitting stitch so now i have these two lift here and we change our work we turn our work and then slip stitch and chain five and here you go and i have this one chain five here the last part and then i will turn and slip stitch there and then start with chain three and another double crochet in the same space and another double crochet in the same space now that's where our strap starting here you go and this strap is this stitch is repeating until you have reached how many two four six eight ten twelve so you should have 12 row of this chain uh, three row of double crochet sorry 12 row of double crochet okay so i'll do that so we have already one two three so make sure to chain three and double crochet in the next two stitch and repeat turn your work I will come back once I have 12 in total of this double crochet, 3 double crochet. Okay, now I've just done the 12 row of 3 double crochet. And now the next is I'm going to cut this and make sure that you, you need to secure the end. And then just like this one. So it will not go anywhere. Alright, so here you go. We're getting there. Our top is getting there. Now we need to put this aside because we're gonna start just making the the back or what we call lace on the back side. Uh, this part here I'll show you gonna make like this back here the granny square this is a very easy granny square so let's start it guys hi everyone I am back so let's make this uh, granny square for our back lace or back strap so to begin is you need to slip knot or magic ring it's up to you if which we are is easier for you to do mine is like this and i will just do um four chain one two three and four and half double crochet chain one half double crochet chain one half double crochet and do the same thing this um all the way around and you should have 12 double crochet and 12 chain space so 
So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. So make sure in the last part you should have chain 1 and then slip stitch in the chain 1 space. There you go. And then, you know, pull through so there's no gap on the middle. Now round round 2, make sure you have so to start is chain 3 and then cluster so cluster will be um, it's you know like this I'll show you 1 2 and pull through and chain 3 1 2 3 and another cluster 1 2 3 4 5, 1 2 3 1 2 3 and 4 through 1 3 1 2 and 3 so this is our pattern all the way across here around do this thing until you have reached in the very last stitch here and I'll see you there now I am here in the last part and I'll make sure that you slip stitch in the very first here and now single crochet and make sure that um, chain 5 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 5 and then single in the next 3 chain space and then in the very next 3 chain space do another 5 double crochet same space in the same space And then next is chain three, two, three, do another five double crochet in the same space. So this is our pattern all the way around. Then next is chain one. Oh, sorry, chain, single crochet in the next one, and then chain five. Single in the next three chain space and then double crochet. So this is what it looks like it looks like guys. So make sure you have four of these and then four of these. So I will finish around and I'll get back once I've I've uh I've I am here in the very first stage, okay? So I have finished the four of these and four should be like that. And then we're here in the very first stitch. I'm going to slip stitch in the single crochet here. What we did earlier, okay? And guys, you need to cut the in and make sure to secure it. Just like that. Pull, pull. So this is our strap in our back of our project now let's put this aside and i will take you through how i connect it all here so i will put this aside first so we'll put that there and there you go so this is and you can see i love uh, in on if all the project um, I did I love this one here 
for the like this for the front see you can see that it's this side here it's always on my front of my project every time I do crochet now to connect with this strap oopsies sorry to connect it on our strap because this will be the face this one will face in the back so you connect it here you connect it like this and we'll get a yarn either way you can do um you know um so you see that um crochet it or use your bobbin uh, sorry your needles you can use your needle or you know crochet it single crochet it's up to you which way is easier for you mine is this way like this for me I prefer this one so make sure that you start on the middle and then uh, slip stitch slip in the other side of the of the strap and then again like this to me this is more easier now it will look like that and it should be like this for your back back strap so they do the same thing in the uh, on the other side i'll just cut that there but if you don't want any you know plenty of blue seam ends so you can use a, uh, your needle and that way it's easier for you to work you know and I'll do the same thing here I'll just start here so guys I'll just connect this all together and I will come back once I finish it okay so this is what it looks like now this is for our back strap and as you can see we're getting there so this is for the back now let's make another one for the seam and then as you can see this one here you start with making another strap in there so make sure to start on the middle on the chain three and count uh chain three and then one double crochet on the next stitch another one double crochet and also guys i just want to add this depend on how what measurement you make it's also depend on the strap so if you, if if your strap is a little bit low in of course you need to um, make just you know tight or enough for your back to hold it tight you can either make just you know few few row of it like four or five it's up to you but because my project is small to medium I will um, add few rows on it and I'll show you how many rows I will make okay because I will just want to measure it for myself as well so two four six So, in, on to my in myself, I'll just on this measurement, I'll just make two, four, six, eight. I will do the same thing here on this side here, and I will come back once I've done it. So make sure to cut it and secure. It's like okay, and I will make another one here do the same thing yeah. 
and guys I will come back once I have done all the bits and pieces okay and I'll show you how to start with a strap along you know along here how you make that strap okay hi everyone so this is what it looks like now our strap is already you know so this is our back side and the strap here this is what it looks like now so we're getting there okay now let's start uh crochet thing let's start here connect for our strap for the back side and this is what it looks like for our strap in our side okay. looks like so we're doing this project here now this okay and in this project I will make a around 28 three double crochet okay so this is we're going to start we just want to make sure that we're doing the right thing okay now because we're doing the three double crochet so I'm gonna start in that here and slip stitch our yarn there and then count one two three and then um, skip this one here and do in the next round Please. and um, so go back in the other side go back that way so it will make like X something and double crochet in here and then one two three do the same thing go in that way that way and then that way did you get my the pattern now so it will be have this you know x something style and that way chain 3 and turn crochet in the other side and crochet that way and crochet that way so you have this style you know two, 3 and do the same thing so this pattern going to repeat until you have enough a strap for your bar back and as I mentioned earlier I did 28 row of this uh, style of this pattern and so I will come back I will come back once I have 28 in total guys and I'll show you how you're gonna connect it in the other in the other um, on the other side okay now as you can see i did the, we did this strap here now i need to uh, connect it on this here so i'll i will do that off on the camera and then i'll show you how we're gonna connect this two part here so i did all all three uh, all this um row for 28 repeat 28 row and then we divide I we needed to divide it so if you like once you have done everything so it's 28 so you divide it by two to mine I'll just I connect it in the third in the thin row total so uh, so there will be each space between of the strap okay so do that if you have done everything and once i've done i will come back 
so okay. I've done connecting all together as you can see here I just use the uh, needle and connect it now let's turn our work I still have this loosen in here now because I did a um, row of uh, 28 in total what are we going to do now is um, I'm going to connect it in our here we'll just count one uh two four six eight and ten so we'll be i'm going to connect it here here in the tin so there should be it total of space between the strap so let's count because that's the tin there so two four six Eight. so in the other one is here so it will look like that now I will do that off the um, of the camera and I will come back what to do in the next hi step. everyone I just done connecting everything um, as you can see it's already formed now you see already it's already formed and turn our work what do you think we're getting there hey eh? now the last part will be a um, single crochet all the way across it's up to you if you just leave it like that but for myself I want it more precise and looks you know clean <laughs> so I'm going to start making one double crochet here so I connect my yarn so this is the edging what I call it edging <laughs> so single crochet so I'm not doing the single crochet here in each but on the middle it's on the space of here then I'll do this pattern all the way across until I reach on the other side of our project because this way it will have this you know nice effect on our edging but it's up to you as I said it's up to you if what would you like to prepare And also now because we are here on our strap I'll show you how you're gonna do that so every strap or three three chain we put two double crochet two single crochet there See that one there put two two single in each of this chain three okay So I will do that off on the camera guys and I will come back once I've done. I'll just connect it everything and put all the loosen in. Now it's all you know clean and also I made another strap. I did um, chain 120 because this is uh, this is very important for our uh, call this uh, on the front. Now to it's it's up to you if you're gonna start here or here but for me I'm gonna start this way here so I need a this one here I'm gonna start this way is here
it's voila it's done and you just need to tie it up together here you go and then put all the loose in bits and pieces so you know it look nicer so guys if you are you know happy with this project it would be nice if you can leave a comment on the comment section and also if you are new here make sure to subscribe hit the bell button and thumbs up if you like this i hope you enjoy making your own valley knit crop top so guys if you are happy as i said make sure to leave a comment and i'll see you on my next project thank you bye